Hello everyone, today I want to talk about a molecule named Ivermectin. Ivermectin is a complex molecule which was discovered in Japan and has been in use since 1970. So why are we speaking about it in 2020 is, on 3rd April 2020, the Peter Doherty Institute of Infection and uh, Immunity and the Biomedicine Department of Monash University in Melbourne, Australia published a paper saying that Ivermectin can be used to eradicate coronavirus. So what they did was they took a Vero H slam cell culture. This is an oversimplified representation of course. In these cells they added the SARS-CoV-2 infection. These cells were then allowed to get infected for two hours after which a single dose of Ivermectin was added to these cells which are now infected with the SARS-CoV-2 virus. After 48 hours these cells were analyzed again to see what was the result of ivermectin on the virus. It was found that the viral DNA, the rate of multiplication, had gone down by nearly 5000 times. What this study means is that in an external environment, ivermectin was successful in removing COVID-19 from a cell culture within 48 hours. However, it remains to be seen if this will be successful in an actual human patient who is infected with COVID-19. We don't know what is the dose yet. We don't know what might be the side effects. We don't know what might be the toxicity of the same. Therefore, as the publishers themselves said, we should wait for human clinical trials to begin, see what the results are, and not just blindly stock up this medication or start taking it ourselves without a doctor's advice. A quick look at the other established uses of ivermectin. It's used in strongyloid stercoralis, in oncocersa volvulus. It's used in scabies quite a lot. Ankylostoma duodenale, lymphatic filariasis, human lice and in animal lice it's used off-label but it's a pretty effective treatment. It's also been studied in the Zika virus. However, it requires more clinical trials for us to know whether it was effective or not. Interestingly for us, in Thailand in 2014 to 2017, they conducted studies on it for dengue virus, but we still don't know what the outcome is. Let us end with an overview of drugs under investigation for the treatment of COVID-19. Chloroquine and hydroxychloroquine we've seen in the previous video. Remdesivir is a very promising injectable drug initially invented for Ebola, but was also used in the MERS and SARS uh, epidemic previously. Favilavir is the first drug which was approved in China during the COVID epidemic which happened there. Ritonavir and Lupinavir are antiretroviral drugs, means anti-HIV drugs, which have been used successfully in combination with other drugs for the treatment of COVID-19. Finally, we come to Oseltamivir, which is a drug of choice for swine flu, which is also being given with other drugs. Ivermectin we just saw today. Are any of these drugs going to be individually successful? or as a combination, or we'll have a new drug coming into the scene. Let's wait and watch and let's hope for the best.